Group 15 is the rogues gallery of the periodic table. Why, their name, nictogens, even comes from the Greek word for suffocation. But suffocation would be the least of your concerns if you crossed paths with any of these deadly chemicals. Nitrogen is everywhere, making up 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. Okay, so maybe it's not deadly, but don't let your guard down just yet. Scuba divers all know nitrogen's most sinister attack. Nitrogen dissolved into the bloodstream can gather into bubbles while returning to the surface. These bubbles cause decompression sickness, also known as the bends, and it can be fatal. Phosphorus is a master of explosives. Four of them bonded together form white phosphorus, which ignites when exposed to air and lays down a residue of phosphoric acid. Also, fluorophosphate esters are some of the most potent neurotoxins known. Arsenic is toxic to almost all life. Farmers use arsenic and its compounds for herbicides, fungicides, and pesticides. An arsenic compound, known as Agent Blue, was used during the Vietnam War to dry out rice fields and kill the crops. Antimony is poisonous to humans in a way similar to arsenic and can be fatal. Antimony leaches into liquids from polyethylene terephthalate, but I'm sure that this polyethylene terephthalate is an uncommon material you're unlikely to ever come into contact with. Oh. Oh dear. Bismuth is... Oh my. Bismuth is beautiful. No, no, no. Don't be fooled by its beautiful rainbow crystals. This femme fatale can still be poisonous, primarily to the kidney, liver, and bladder. Still, bismuth is the least toxic of the nictogens. Fortunately, ununhexium cannot be produced in large amounts, but its short half-life means that it would be very radioactive, but only briefly, attacking quickly before disappearing. 